Peter getting out of Nick's pool is painted by one of the world's most famous contemporary artists, David Hockney. He is currently one of the most highly valued living artists. After one of his best known swimming pool paintings sold for £70.3 million at a New York auction in 2018. This painting, however, represents a powerful moment in queer history. Hockney entered it into the John Moore's Painting Prize held at Walker Art Gallery in Liverpool in 1967, the same year homosexual acts between men became partially decriminalised. Hockney won the coveted first prize, marking a pivotal moment in his career, as well as in queer history, as he was the first gay man to win. The painting itself portrays gay love and attraction, as the naked man pushing himself out of the pool is Hockney's long-term lover, Peter Schlesinger. Peter Schlesinger was a 19-year-old painter who Hockney had met while teaching. They had a long relationship, with Schlesinger even relocating with Hockney to London, where he subsequently went to the Slade School of Art. He was often Hockney's muse and appears in some of his most famous works. This painting, like many of his other works, shows a communal swimming pool of an apartment block at 1145 Larrabee Street, Hollywood, just north of Sunset Boulevard. The apartment was owned by a close friend of Hockney's, Nick Wilder, an art dealer and gallery owner. Hockney spent a lot of time at Wilder's apartment, taking hundreds of photos that would go on to be inspirations and reference points for his works. Hockney actually used a Polaroid of Peter leaning naked on a car as a reference for this painting. The square shape of the painting and raw canvas border are intentional nods to this. Peter later said when asked about this work, that's why the part under the water isn't painted well, because it was just invented. Looking back today, Hockney's work feels even more powerful. When he entered the Royal College of Art in 1959, a homosexual act between two men was illegal in the UK. Despite this, he still created artworks that referenced queer love and in later works, he was bolder in expressing his sexuality, featuring more explicit references to gay culture, such as a series of prints dedicated to the homosexual Greek poet Constantine P. Cavafy. Hockney saw his art as a form of activism, saying, What one must remember about some of these pictures is that they were partly propaganda of something I felt hadn't been propagandized as a subject homosexuality.